Hello, and in this video, I am going to show you how you can use TGCF. This video is not about how you can run TGCF. You can definitely uh, deploy TGCF to any cloud platform, or you can run it on your own device, like your mobile phone uh, running Android, or maybe on your uh, desktop computer. Uh, all operating systems are supported, like uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. So there will be a separate video how you can actually run TGCF. But this video is a walkthrough. This is a tutorial or a walkthrough. Uh, for the features that TCF offers. Now, with the latest release, TCF has a web interface now. So that means you don't need to write any configuration files in order to define your configuration. Everything, each and everything that you want to do with TCF can be accessed from a very easy and simple web interface. So this video is a walkthrough for that web interface. So first of all, when you uh, run TCF, you will get a IP address uh, on which uh, this uh, web interface is served. Uh, you visit that from your browser and you get this uh, wonderful interface from which you can actually uh, do all the settings for TCF and you can also run or stop TCF. So, here in the first page, we have this Telegram login page. So, when you actually first come to this page, you will be prompted for a password. So, if I just refresh this page, you will see that this will ask me for the password. So, when you first visit this page, it will ask you for password. Now, this password can be set while you are deploying the application. And how you can set the password is basically on the server. It is set on the server. And everything else, all the configuration for TCF is set using this web interface. So, you have this API ID and API hash uh, that is required to create a Telegram application. So, Telegram has an open source interface. It has basically an open API open API that allows anybody to talk to Telegram. So if you want to communicate with Telegram, you need this API ID and API hash. And that you can get from this link. That is my.telegram.org. You can visit this link in order to get that. So here, if you come to this uh, link, my.telegram.org, uh, you will get this page. And first you need to enter your phone number. And this must be in international format. Once you enter your phone number, it will send you an OTP. You will receive that OTP here uh, in your Telegram app. Telegram will get, give you this OTP and this is the official Telegram blue tick account. They will give you an OTP. They will give you a web login code and you put that. And after that, you will basically get a thing called uh, app uh, API development tools. Okay. There you can actually get your API ID and API hash. It's a very simple process. You just follow the flow. You will get it. And uh, when you are creating, doing this for the first time, basically you have to set a name for your uh, app. You can just put any name you want. Right. So here we come. So, and for the bot token, if you want to run TCF using a bot account, you need to have a bot. You need to create a bot account. And for that, you need this bot further. It is again another blue tick handle. Here, you can just create a new bot uh, if you don't have a bot. Or if you already have a bot, then you can just click on my bots. And you can see all your bots. And when you click on your bot, you can just click on API token. And here, you can just click on this uh, thing. This is the API token. You can copy it and you can paste it. Now, whenever you do some settings over here. Please click save. Please click save. Only when you click save, this will get saved to the server. And the next page we have is the admins page. Now, uh, we will be deploying TCF on this particular bot. So we have used the token for this bot. So TCF will be available on this particular bot. Now this bot can be accessed only by admins. So anybody cannot talk to the bot. Only the admins can give instructions to the bot and change the configuration. So over here, we will define the admins. So here you can put your username. If you want to uh, run commands from the bot to change the connections, you can obviously change the connections from the web interface. Now let us come to the connections. Now connections are the most important thing of uh, TGCF. Here you can define the source and the destination. See from which channel to which channel the messages will go. It can be a channel, it can be a group, it can be a chat, it can be anything. Any kind of chat is supported, right? So to get the chat ID, you can use a chat ID or Username. If it is a public entity, if it's a public chat, then you can just use the username directly. But if it's something private, then private chats, private groups, they do not have username. You can figure out the chat ID. So what you need to do is that there is another uh, bot that is publicly and freely available. That is user info bot, right? Here in this user info bot, you can just forward any message. For example, if I want to know the chat ID of this, this particular channel, this particular channel named source channel. If I want to know the chat ID of this channel, I'll just take a message from this channel and I will forward it to this user info bot. That's it. Now user info bot will give me from which channel it came. So I can just copy the uh, chat ID and I can paste it here. 
So you are allowed to put only one source, but you can put multiple destinations over here. So let me say I have this destination channel and here I take a message from this channel and I forward it to this uh, user info bot, right? And I get this, I get the chat ID of this thing. Right? So I can add multiple destinations. For example, I can add a particular username also. For example, I can add this username. This is my username. Okay. So whatever you do, please click save. So if you have multiple destinations, then add each destination in one line, put them in separate lines, one destination in one line. So one item per line, right? And if you want, you can create new connection. So you create a new connection and here you can have another source and again, multiple destinations for that source. If you want to delete a connection, then click on this show advanced options, uh, click on this, tick this, and then you have this remove connection. You click it, it's gone. It's gone. Now here it is. Now, uh, obviously one most important thing that you need to keep in mind is that click save whenever you change a configuration. Okay. And then you have this plugins page. Now this plugins page is awesome. You can control, you can control how your message gets forwarded. Now, whenever you want to use a plugin, please tick that plugin. You must tick the plugin. It will not be put into action. So for example, if I want to turn my text into bold, then I can just use a format plugin. If you want to do watermark, you can upload an image and whatever uh, media will go, uh, the TCC will watermark that. And if you want to do optical character recognition, you can do that. If you want to replace text, mm -hmm. then you can replace one piece of text with another. You can also apply regular expressions over here. So whatever you want to do, you can do and just please click save, right? And then finally, we have the run page. Now, TCCF can be run in two modes. One is a live mode. Let me explain to you what is live and what is past. Live mode is yeah. uh, whenever a new message comes, TGC will instantly forward it. So whenever there is a new message in live mode, TGCF just keeps running. It does not stop. In a live mode, when you run TGC in live mode, it just runs indefinitely. It just runs continuously. Whenever there is a new message, it will forward it to the destination. Now in the past mode, if you run TGC in the past mode, TGCF, what it will do is that it will use the bot or the user bot actually to uh, get access to all the old messages and forward them to the destination. When you are using password, make sure that you are using a user account. Only user account can use in password. You cannot use a bot account because this is against Telegram's rules. I cannot do anything over here. Telegram has a system that only user accounts can access the chat history. A bot cannot get access to a chat history. Okay. So when you're using the past mode in Telegram login page, you have to use a user account. And for using a user account, you basically need a phone number. What is a user account? User is anyone with a phone number and bot accounts can be created using the bot father. You can create as many bot accounts you want using the bot father. But for a user account, you need a phone number. There's a normal uh, telegram user account that you use, right? And you need a session string over here. Now, how will you generate the session string? Now, uh, unfortunately, I cannot implement the interface for logging in with a phone number over here due to some issues that uh, could not be done. But what you can do is that I have created a, created a command line application, a terminal application that helps you to get the session string. But many of you who will be using may not have access to um, a computer or a terminal while you are using TCF. Suppose when you are using TCF, you instantly need some session string. And at that point of time, you may not have access to a computer. So what you can do is that you can use uh, your browser just from your browser without uh, getting access to a computer. You can just get the session string. So I have uh, put a script on Repelit. Repelit is a platform that helps you to actually run any kind of script. So on Repelit, you can run Python programs or any kind of program, right? So I have an open source program called TG login. You can click here in this link, this github.com slash anix slash TG login. If you click that, you will get the whole source code. So it's completely secure and open source. And here in this uh, Repel, this Repel is also, you can also see the code that runs behind the Repel. So you just click on this Repel and you will get this kind of page over here. So this TG login Repel. So you don't need to download anything in order to get the session string. You can run it online. So here you just click run. Here you click run. And initially it will take some time to install the packages and to uh, set up the environment. It will take a few, maybe one or two minutes it will take. But after it takes that time, what will happen is that it will prompt you to enter your API ID, API hash. And after that you put your phone number and then you're good to go. That's it. So it will install all the in that system and at the end of the complete job, it will delete the environment. So you don't have to worry. Nothing will get compromised. It's completely safe. So here it will prompt you for your API ID. Yeah, the setup is complete. You see now here you can paste your API ID. After this, it will ask you for your API hash. So you can just simply go here and over here. You can just copy your API ID, copy your API hash, 
and then paste them here one by one. Now over here, the input will be hidden. You can just right click here and you can just click paste like this. You put your API ID, API hash, and then you have to put your phone number. Once you put your phone number, uh, OTP will go to your account. So from Telegram, you will get an OTP. You put that OTP. Then in your saved messages, in your saved messages, uh, the session stream will be saved. And then from there, you can copy it and then you can paste it over here. Over here, you can paste it, right? So, and obviously after you do that, please click save. Now you can use a bot account also. You can use a user account, whatever you want, you can use it. And, but when you are running in live mode, when you are running in live mode, you can use both. You can use either of bot account or a uh, user account. Both are supported. But when you're using in past mode, only user account is supported, right? And okay, now let me go to the live mode. And here, so when everything is set up, make sure that you set up the Telegram login page, you set up your connection. You must have at least one connection for TZ to work, right? You need at least one connection. And here you can use plugins if you want. And finally, in the run page, what you need to do is just simply click run. That's it. As soon as you click run, please refresh. You need to refresh to see the updates. So here again, I enter my password. And here, this is running perfectly fine. So I can expand this a little bit. So you see, it is running. No errors are there. It is running. So you have not got any errors. You just see the, all the info. It is running. Fine. So I can again, let me uh, show you. Let me put this here. So here, uh, the source channel and this destination channel are connected. Now let me send a message in source channel. Let me send hello. Yeah. You see, in destination channel, it has sent hello, right? As simple as that. And see, it has been become bold. So I have set that uh, plugin to format it to bold. As simple as that. So this was TCCF complete overview. Now, in the description of this video, uh, you will get the links to other videos also. And if you want to uh, see TCCF, it's actually a completely open source code. You just uh, go here, github.com slash anik slash TCCF. This is the link for TCCF. So on GitHub, please, you can actually start this and you can actually watch this repository. So whenever an update comes and all the documentation is just here, you can read the readme file. In this readme file, everything is explained. How you can install it, how you can run it, everything is explained. Plus, I will also be putting the link to the video also. And here in the wiki page, you have complete details. You can uh, see how you can run on different platforms. You can see the different concepts how you can deploy to the cloud platforms, how you can uh, work with plugins and how you can develop TCCF. So everything is detailed in this uh, uh, wiki page. So please go to this repository and start this and share this with your friends. Thank you.